Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Rebirth. And, you know, we have to get into this, no matter how much I kind of find Adam Cole annoying. Adam Cole said last week that he has a surprise that is going to set the Undisputed Era up for for just life. He told me that after he shared his words about the surprise. But my question, my question is, is what is that surprise, ladies and gentlemen? We will be seeing as as uh, we uh, get along with tonight's event, along with you know uh, four matches or three matches. Excuse me. We got Mustafa Ali versus uh, Keith Lee. And then we got uh, FTR in action. And then we got uh, match three, which is going to be Shelton Benjamin versus Rey Mysterio. And then we got the fourth match. Here's the fourth match. Cody versus Shamar Jordan. But until all that comes, let's listen to what Adam Cole has to say. Well, he said he has a surprise. Oh. <laughs> he also said that his person is the general manager of Rebirth for the longest time. We have been wondering who has been making, I mean, I didn't even know, all I knew was it was the GM and he wanted orders and let me do my show, but whenever it came to the Undisputed Era, uh, wants or whatever, this guy did this, and it is Bobby Fish, ladies and gentlemen, a man we have not seen in a long time. But Bobby Fish is back and he looks ready to attack and ready to set the Undisputed Era up for all the wins coming their way. Question is, Kenny, we will be safe. So let's let's listen what Bobby Fish has to say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that surprise out of the way, we now move to the back. And what I'm hearing in Edge's reaction, he is not happy about last week.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, a huge start with that reveal from Adam Cole. I mean, I kind of had a feeling, but it's true. And like I stated earlier, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. But we moved on from that into Edge's reaction to Damian Priest losing in the survival of the fittest qualifier. I know earlier I said last week, but no, it was to him losing in the survival of the fittest qualifier. And Edge is Edge just went off on Priest. He said, I taught you so much. Have you not been paying attention? Have you not, Damien? And Priest, Priest said, you need to calm down. I have, you know I have. Maybe if you were here more, there'd be less failure, Mr. Vet. So, I mean, that kind of reaction does not, that, that doesn't, hold well if you're making your team angry at you because you're angry at them. I mean, I understand Edge's want to build the next generation, but maybe with less tough love and more acceptance and building on top of, we will be seeing, ladies and gentlemen, how they react. But until then, we move into our first matchup, ladies and gentlemen. And it is going to be the returning Keith Lee. After losing to Walter a number of months ago and a former United States or United Nations champion when he won it off of Tommaso Ciampa at SummerSlam last year. Keith Lee returns to take on Mustafa Ali. And Ali last week said he's looking for a challenge in his road to facing the United States Champion. And Ali has made it into the Survival of the Fittest matchup after defeating Eddie Kingston. And Eddie Kingston is enough of a challenge. And now, he's taking on Keith Lee, the bear of all. Oh, super kick. That was a surprise super kick by Ali, but the bear of the division, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, Bronson Reed, but he's more like the the tribal warthog. Oh, kick to the leg. And you got Keith Lee, the bear, the black bear of the division, of the, of the entire series, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God, that shot. Oh, Keith Lee sending out Ali already. Oh, drop kick. Oh, Keith Lee going out. Oh, throwing his arm down. Oh, God. Keith Lee is seeming a bit more vicious here in this series. Oh, discus punch. You know that adds, like, Tony Hawk-style damage to you. Oh, dragon screw leg whip. But that just adds twisting and knobs. Oh, shit. No force would put up. Oh, Ollie caught his dick on the thing. Oh, shit. Oh, Ollie placing his tracks firmly, knowing when to take the spot. Hurricane Rana. Taking down Keith Lee as he comes in. Now keeping him down. Oh! oh. <laughs> Keith Lee showed Ali that he can do it. God damn, dude. Oh, oh, but Ali, quick fix. Quick, quick return on that. He wants Axe to return fast. Send it to Ali because he can do it just like that. Oh shit, Ali sending. Keith Lee, oh, switch out, neckbreaker, boom. Oh. Oh, just, oh, blocking. But Keith, Keith Lee still getting hit. Ollie don't care if you block him, he'll still hit you with his hardest punch. Oh, where are we going? Oh, Keith Lee. Oh, that was to the face. Oh, shit, sending Lee outside. Oh, Ollie feeling it. Oh shit, can he get it though? Can he get it? Oh, oh, oh. yes he can. Ollie feeling it, baby. Oh, Ollie going up now. Oh shit, what does he have planned here for Keith Lee? Oh, oh, crossbody. 
Oh, but Ali. Ali is not done. Oh, oh, again, god damn. Sending Ollie, or sending Keith Lee into the barricade. Oh, waiting till Keith Lee comes to it. Count of four. They got 16 more seconds. They got enough time. I don't know what Keith Lee. Oh! Oh! Oh, you know. You know what's going to happen, Ollie. You are going to be put down onto the apron. Oh, what the hell is this? Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Keith Lee! Oh! Dude, springboard, springboard clothesline. Holy shit. Oh, Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Oh, all Lee is dumbfounded. Oh! <laughs> Sent on. Just showing he can go the go the way. Oh, just looking at Ollie. Oh my god. Dude, I don't know how Ollie is moving after that. Oh! What? <laughs> Pop a power bomb by Ollie. Oh my god, dude. Oh, just delivering the oh the face into the mat. Oh my god. Ollie is ecstatic. Knee to the back, god damn, who knew he had that type of power in him? But right now we're finding out that he has the strength, he has the ability, he has the resiliency. Oh my god, crossbody sends Ollie tumbling over. Oh no, first foot blocked. And Ollie pro probably has the ability to be the fittest at survival of the fittest come January 31st. But will he or won't he? Oh, spinning leg lariat from Ali, or from Keith Lee, excuse me. Oh, oh Keith Lee, oh, cross, oh, cross body, axe handle, no, first to put up. Oh, oh, shit, oh, Ali, right there, oh, axe handle again. Oh, oh, those axe handles send, send you down, oh, oh, oh big splash. One, oh, what? Dude! Holy shit! Holy shit, the heart of Ollie. Oh, big splash again! But that is not the cherry on top. That is not of one of Keith Lee's. Oh my god, he's just going for splash. Splash City. Splash City, bitch. Oh my god, Keith Lee going up one more time. Oh, too many times of the well. I thought I was going for the moonsault. I guess he just wanted to get the, oh, get the splashes in. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, rope break. Oh, my God, save Keith Lee. I think Keith Lee was out of it, especially after having, after having the knees of Ali driven into his gut and driving the breath out of him. One, two. Oh, kick out from Keith Lee. God damn. Ali. Can't believe it. Oh! Ollie, staring. Oh, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Ground. Zero. One. Two. Oh! oh. oh. Shit, kick out. Dude, I thought that was gonna be it. Keith Lino going up. Waking Ali up this time, though. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Look at the power of Ali. Sit up, Armum. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. Well, 
Mustafa Ali with some words for the United Nations champion. And he said after survival of the fittest, maybe next series. Or no, he said next series. He'll be coming for Roman Reigns. Will he be able to do it? Or will he won't? We will be finding out. But until then, we move to the bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Ali letting us know that, you know, come survival of the fittest, he will be as ready as ever, and he plans on winning. But we also saw Seth Rollins return and attack him to carry on that feud and next week close out that match, close out that feud. So now the question is, is, will Seth Rollins be able to overcome and stop all these momentum? Or no. We will be seeing though. But as for now, FTR is coming to the ring. And they plan on taking on a mystery opponent. Oh my god. Of course, the Undisputed Era. The Undisputed Era is here. Bobby Fish, the now current GM of Rebirth. Oh, attacking, helping Cole now because O'Reilly and Strong are not here. Oh my God, kick to the face. FTR getting their lights kicked in. Oh shit, Dragon Suplex by Bobby. Oh, Cole, Cole. Oh, last shot. Or no, the boom, excuse me. God damn, I always get mixed up on that. Oh, Cole, Cole, again. The boom. What the hell does Adam Cole have planned now? Dax Harwood is out of it. Oh my God, three booms. Taking out Dax Harwood. Oh, Adam Cole going in. Oh, he sees Cash on the ground. Thanks to Bobby Fish's strikes. Now Bobby Fish is in the corner. Oh, what the hell is this gonna, oh my God. The boom, right to the back of the head. Oh, Adam Cole. Not even doing the Adam Cole, baby. What a dick. Throwing him in now. Oh, the ref getting in the way, trying to stop this, but no, it will not stop. Oh, what does Cole have planned here? Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh, the undisputed finish. And now Bobby Fish and Adam Cole stand tall and send a message towards FTR come survival of the fittest. Who will stand tall? We will find all that out come January 31st. But until then, we move to the back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, FTR was not happy about that. And apparently Dax got taken to the back once um, 
Adam Cole got, you know, dealt three booms to him. And, you know, as they were damaging Cash Wheeler in the ring, the EMTs just took him to the back. And Dax responded. Dax responded in that time. It's like, so you want to you want to cheap shot us? Okay, okay. And you got the gold in your hands, yada yada. Guess what, Undisputed Era? You got three men. You got three men. How about this? At Survival of the Fittest, it'll be a three on three. Or no, 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 no. It won't be a three on three. It'll be a two on two. Um, uh, no disqualification match since they like to break the rules, since they like to work things into their favor. And Adam Cole responded after that. He's like, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Dax, go ahead, take us on. Put it in our favor. Because one thing is true. We made you do this. So it's your fault, not ours. And we will be the undisputed tag team champions come the end of our match at Survival of the Fittest. But will they? We will be seeing as we get there in two weeks, ladies and gentlemen. But as for right now, we move on to our next matchup, which is going to be the gold standard, Shelton Benjamin taking on Rey Mysterio. Shelton Benjamin just trying to build momentum for himself going into survival of the fittest. And the gold standard, you know, like right now he doesn't have the music, but he's going to use it when it matters. And when does that matter? That matters the night of January, January 31st when he's taking on four other men for the possibility of the Undisputed Championship match at WrestleMania. Oh, shit. Gut, oh my god, gut buster already. And like, I can totally agree with Shelton's, you know, plan here. You know, you know, uh, uh, first when he took on Ziggler, he wanted to really prove himself. And a couple weeks before that, he was gaining momentum for himself. And, you know, it's a big plan. And him and Ziggler had a great match at, um, uh, for the Survival of the Fittest qualifier. And uh, now he does. He, and the reason he told me he doesn't want to use the music is because when he first did it, he lost. I mean, he might have won, but then he thought about it. He's like, oh, I don't want this to cloud my thoughts about myself. I don't want to make myself think I'm better than anyone else before the match. So, you know, who knows? Who knows what he's got planned for Survival of the Fittest? But he did say, come Survival of the Fittest. That is going to unlock the potential in him. That is going to push him to go as strong, as far as anyone else. Oh, sp going for a lariat. And that will just, I guess, push him over the moon. Oh, my God. But one thing, oh, he does not need is music here tonight. Because his wrestling ability is next level. Former amateur wrestler team of the world's greatest tag team that should say enough oh shit tripped over mysterio because mysterio is like a fucking mortar ladies and gentlemen catches oh catches shelton in a reverse ddt and a moonsault oh my god springboard moonsault but no one there shelton now going to the outside oh no no springboard no springboard oh he forgot that was a he that wasn't a part of his move set which, I don't know, how do you do? Oh, catches him with the axe handle. Oh, now Shelton, trying to figure out where to put this momentum. He's got Ray on the ground, which is a good thing, because you don't want Ray Mysterio flying around you. Oh, just bashing him in the face. Oh, busting him open. Oh, oh drop kick, driving the breath out of Mysterio. Now trying to go up, trying to go up. For the 450. Oh, no, elbow! Oh, shot to the gut from Mysterio trying to get an advantage after dodging that elbow. Boom! Right to the head. God damn. Shelton has such a strong head. He doesn't even feel headbutts sometimes. Oh, over. Oh, under. Oh, oh, shoulder block pushes him off, Mysterio does. Oh, Mysterio blocking. Oh, into the corner. Whoa. 
What are we gonna be seeing here, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, shit! Oh! Bulldog! Oh, oh, oh bounce up Bulldog by Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio now taking his time. He's gotta hurry. Unless, I mean, if he doesn't want it, doesn't seem like it. Oh, Shelton is down. Mysterio is up. Mysterio waiting till Shelton gets up, of course. Oh, nobody there. Look what, look what you've done. Mysterio, oh, Mysterio is still catching him. I thought he was going for the, for the Hurricane Rana. Oh, Los Guerreros? Nope, nope. Shelton, Shelton knows Ray all too well. Jaren suplex. Shit. Throwing Ray outside now. Oh, spears him off. Oh, shit, dude. Shelton. Shelton waking up Ray. Can he bring the high flying ability? I think he can. Oh, no. Oh, 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 Ray gets out of the way. And drop kick to the back of the head. God damn, Ray is so quick. And uh, due to the years of experience he has, just wrestling, he can redeem himself so fast, no matter the age. And that's good. Oh, but oh, Shelton just getting out of it. So can Shelton, though, due to his experience in this series. Oh, oh, Shelton. Going for something. Where where are we going, though? Apron powerbomb? Oh, no, stage powerbomb. No, right, getting out. Oh, shot to the face. Catches. Shelton. Oh, Shelton being thrown into the ring. Being caught by surprise by Mysterio. Oh. Oh, I will tell the face. You know, with with those quick grasp and quick movements, you uh, you you'd be surprised at what little people, little people, smaller opponents can do to their bigger opponents. Oh, frog splash! Oh my God, will this be it? One. Two, oh, kick out. Oh, oh, oh Ray cannot believe it. But you know, that's just shock value, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, going for a roundhouse, but no. Oh, 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 super kick blocked off. Ray blocked it all oh, with this by punching it. But yeah, man, I bet Ray is not surprised in the least because I mean, he knows Shelton. You know, he's competed with them over the years. What the hell does Shelton have planned here? Oh, Shelton gonna, gonna try a little hurricane run. Oh, or no, Frankenstein, or excuse me. And now Shelton, Shelton, elbow, no one there. God damn. Ray has the advantage, kicking the legs. Oh, nobody there. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 gold standard. One, two. Oh, kick out. Oh, man. Oh, man. I thought, I thought Shelton had it there. But that hesitation on it. He only grabbed on the second time, not the first. Oh, no. Just shopping. Ray, Ray coming back. Oh, shit. 619. Booyaka, booyaka. All oh, right to the face, busting open, Shelton. No, no frog splash. One, two. Oh, he got a kick out. Why didn't you go for the frog splash, Ray? I don't know. God damn, Ray thought he had it. Now Ray's going for the frog splash. But Shelton is getting up as well. Shelton waiting. Oh, and uh, yeah, look what happens, right? Oh, God, planting him down. One, two, oh, kick him. Oh, my God. I don't know why Ray waits to do the, the frog splash with the 619. He's been doing that for the past two years. Makes me worry about his age and mental health. Oh, jumps over. Oh. Oh, oh, catches him. Exploder. One, two, ah, oh, kick out. God damn, Ray can go for days. Ray can go for days just like Shelton. I mean, Shelton got that Olympic background for a reason. Oh, Shelton's just pumping himself up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Off the ropes. Bouncing back and forth. Oh, Shelton waiting. Awaken up, Ray, so Ray doesn't roll out of the way. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh misses again. Rey Mysterio doing a cocky little dance right there. 
Oh, Shelton is out of it. Ray is getting into it. No high flying ability. Oh, shot to the, shot to the back. Gold standard on the outside. God damn, I don't know why Ray wasn't going for the high, high, uh, risk offense. Because he caught himself there. Oh, shit. World's greatest elbow. Oh, oh shit, Ray. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. No, no, Mexican destroyer. Ray got tossed up and over. Oh, under. Oh, under. Oh, Ray, doing the smart thing. Oh shit. Oh, getting the arm. Going for the arm drag. Oh shit, sends Sheldon across the ring. Oh god, Ray set that up beautifully. And don't, and you know, that just teaches you, don't always expect your opponent to go back. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure Shelton didn't, oh, didn't expect him to come back, but maybe he was hoping. One, two. Oh, kick out. Oh, man. Woo. Woo, baby. Oh, Ray can't go on top of the turnbuckle. No, he can't. He's going the outside route. Waking up, Shelton. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit, dude. Again. Boom, power bomb. Oh, but this time, Shelton, building up steam. Up the ropes, flying clothesline. Oh, now he's just. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh pop up. <laughs> Drop. And that would drive the breath out of you any which way. Oh, over. Oh, oh, again. You know what comes after that? The gold standard. One, two, three. And Shelton Benjamin gains more momentum and god damn ladies and gentlemen he has been improving and improving each and every time he's been in the ring after taking a long hiatus he is back and he he is back to set the gold standard for the finishing part of his career but now the real question is 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 he ready for survival of the fittest it seems like it and you know going off that finish right there you know I asked him why he does it two times the pop-up drop that's to make sure his opponent is out of breath no breath is left in his opponent when he applies the gold standard and the one two three but come January 31st when he's in the ring with four other men will that matter or will he have to find a quicker way to finish his opponents? Because it's elimination. But still, you have to get to the last two in the quickest fashion. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, congrats to Shelton Benjamin. But now, we head to the back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, God, Roman Reigns sending out a message to Jamal two weeks ahead of their match at Survival of the Fittest, with Jamal attacking Bronson Reed. And as he was giving an interview to, but, I mean, as we saw a uh, number of weeks ago at December to dismember. Bronson can go. Doesn't matter how many people or how big the opponent is, he can go. Question is, is can he go with Roman Reigns and his 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 tricks? We will be seeing. 
But until then, we move into the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Shamar Gordon versus Cody Rhodes. And before the start of the show, before Cody, or before Cole, revealed his big surprise, we heard words from both these men. And Shamar was like, man, it's an honor to face anybody here. But it'd be even a better honor to beat them. Especially you, Cody. You got so much momentum, so much history, such a legacy left behind. That a win over you, that should just give me an undisputed championship match right now. And Cody accepted the high praise like, oh, thank you, thank you so much, Shamar. But there's a reason I'm facing Walter at Survival of the Fittest, and you aren't. I'm the American Nightmare. I'm the son of a plumber. And... I'm better than you. And now Walter, he has trouble with how I won the King of the Climax tournament, with how I won some of my recent matches. Fine, Walter. You know what? I'll give you this. Tonight, and going forward, I will not use any underhanded tactics. Just for you. Just so my win over you will be better because you know I beat you clean. So will Cody stay true or will he not? We will be seeing in our main event. Cody's turning up slow. Oh, locking up. Oh shit, spine buster. A quick, quick finish. One, two, oh, kick out. God damn, Cody almost has it there and Shamar. Shamar just showing his heart right now. Oh shit, float over. Oh, but Cody reversing it. Oh, shot to the gut. Oh, roundhouse dodged by Shamar. Oh, oh shit. <clears throat> Cody showing his experience. Oh, hit loss. God damn, dude. Oh, catching the leg. Dragon screw. <clears throat> oh shit. It's time. It's time for something. Oh, disaster kick. Brutal as always from Cody. One, two. Oh, kick out. God damn. Cody. Go oh, now, now. Waking up Shamar. Ah, oh, oh, on the way there. Oh, Shamar. Oh, snap, EDT. Damn, Shamar catching. Cody catching Cody up and all that. Oh my god, Stanley G Star Press. Going out, Jam Shamar going up. Oh, <laughs> jumping cutter. Oh my god. Oh shit. Jumping for Riddick. No one can escape that. God damn, planning, driving the breath out of Cody. Oh, but Cody makes it out. Shamar can't believe it. Oh, Shamar, no. Caught on the action, caught on the reaction. Oh, no. Oh, back. Knees to the back. Oh, roundhouse kick. A roundhouse kick tends to do it. One. Oh, kick out. Not now. Off the rough. Oh, draw kick right to the face. Oh, oh god. Clubbing crossbody. Oh. Oh, jab and a jab and an elbow. Oh, Shamar returning the favor. Oh, shit. Throwing Cody into the corner. What are we going to be seeing here? Oh, props up. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing there. Oh, what the hell? Oh, a stupefy spell put on Cody. Shamar was not successful as Cody dropped him. Oh, stunner. Shit, Shamar. He's got something planned for Cody. Shit, Shamar. Running in. Running in. Oh, what? No. 
out. Oh, into the steps. Oh my god. But that's the ability of, you know, a vet like Cody. Plus, he loves the Harry Potter movies. So he can just cast a force field on Namus uh, at any time. Oh shit, what are we going for here? Air raid crash neck breaker. Oh my god. And, you know, the reason I mentioned Harry Potter, ladies and gentlemen, is because, you know, the original Rebirth was all sent, was built on Hogwarts, Hogwarts Ashes. She throws him into the crowd. Now, can't seem to get in there. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, Shamar. Oh, shit. Oh, oh god, Shamar getting the getting the advantage. Cody couldn't get past it. And Shamar was able to hop over and get um get uh, you know just get to Cody. Ten. What are you doing, son? What are you doing? Oh, 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 one fourth man boxing, god damn. Oh, Cody going again. Oh, god, disaster kick. Oh, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing here, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I'll try and go for a power slam, but no, Shamar gets out of it. Oh, kick, caught. Dragon screw. Oh, Cody's got some. Oh, no, he doesn't. Shamar has something planned. And those are elbows to the face. Oh, into the barricade area. Shamar getting in. Oh, shit. Where are we going? Oh, you know. Out of nowhere! Shamar! He's trying to drop him on the barricade, but no, Cody gets out of it. Oh, blocked! Oh, blocked by Cody. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Under her driver. And Cody just taking it all in. Not taking Shamar. Oh! Shamar getting out of it. Oh! Oh, into the steps! Shamar going in again. Cody. Oh shit. Oh! Oh god! Jump up DDT to Cody. Oh, but Cody is still right there. Oh shit. He's got something planned. Oh! Oh! oh. Our bomb. Oh my god, again, Cody? Jesus. Oh! But Shamar, get out of it. Whoa! Oh, clothesline, vicious. Oh, throws him. Oh, into the barricade, hard south. No, oh. Oh shit. Oh my God! He power bombs him on the barricade. Oh no, Shamar, getting out of it. Oh, Cody, getting getting elbows from Shamar. Oh, but Cody backing up into the crowd area. Shamar freaking out. And 12. Oh, should have tackled him. 
What? No! Oh, crossroads on the concrete. Shamar is out, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't know if you know this, but that that flooring right there, like the corner, barely able to protect your head from the concrete. Oh my god. How the hell is Shamar Gordon going? Dude! Oh! Oh, famous her! Oh, try to stop. Oh my god. How the hell is Shamar going? Oh shit, Shamar going up. Will this be his redemption? Oh! 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 oh 6! 30! 1! 2! Oh! 2! What? 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 What are you talking? Are you serious, bro? Oh! Shamar! Taking his frustrations out on the ref. Oh, man. Sh Shamar. Shamar. Oh, frustrated. Oh! Oh, no! The bionic elbow! Oh, shit. Cody's dad's favorite, favorite maneuver. Disaster kick in the bionic elbow, I mean. Oh no, oh shit. Oh no, this is one of Cody, Cody's favorite finishers. Underhook driver. But we all know that's not how. The match at Survival of the Finished is said to be in- Oh my god, no! Bionic elbow again. One. Two. What? Dude! That was two bionic elbows and one underhook driver. Oh my god. I thought Shamar set his soul right there after going off on the ref. Oh, but Shamar is still here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Kotaro pressure. Oh, Shamar. Shamar. Oh, chin chop. Oh, famous there. What? No, that's not the famous there. The leg. I don't know. Jamaican lockdown. <laughs> Oh, Ch uh, Shamar is just going off on Cody. Bulldog choke. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, Cody. Holding out. Oh. Just said no force field. Oh, oh, cutter. Oh my god. One, two. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Shamar waking up, Cody. Up, oh, Shamar. Oh, nobody there. Disaster. What the fuck? Force build again. God damn, dude. Holy shit, Shamar got the fucking Hogwarts background right there. Going for the pin. One. Two. Oh, kick out from Cody. No surprise there. God damn. Oh. 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 Oh, oh hard style. Shamar. Still tiring. Was tired out. Cody. Going out. Looks like he's getting the water. I'm still keeping the count. Oh, shit. Sh That's the most important thing here in Rebirth. You know, if you're not feeling hydrated in the match, go get water, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but Shamar Gordon, come back. Oh, 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 
Oh, super kick keeps Cody down. Oh, oh! What the hell? Oh, slight shot! TDT turns him over on his head. <laughs> Cody sends Shamar in. Shit, dude. Cody. Shit, Cody. Cody! Oh! What? What? That... That... That cover is off. Crossroads! Turns over Shamar. One. Two. Three. And Cody Rhodes... Does it. Cody Rhodes wins. And I hate to be... I hate to be the... The... You know, the... You know, motivator. Or not the motivator, but the... The person to say this, ladies and gentlemen, but... When Cody threw Shamar in the corner... Shamar was just left there. And Cody went to go get water. We all saw that. And then he came back in the ring. And Shamar tried to hit him down. But Cody took advantage. Cody had no knowledge of that post or of the cover falling off and the ref just reviewed the tape with me and was like yeah no he didn't he just went over there to get some water so Cody stayed true to his words but for some reason I think he might be doing things before the match to have an advantage in the match but will all that help Cody if he's doing it in the match against Walter at Survival of the Fittest we can only wait to see. But as for now, this has been Reaper. Hope you all have a good night, and see you all in the next.